Welcome. I'm Colleen. We're going to be doing willpower and grace today. This is an amazing modality of exercise that incorporates yoga, Pilates, strength training, as well as a mental mind-body connection. Everything is done a body weight, barefoot, no equipment needed. So go ahead and clear your space. You'll want water and a mat off to the side. Other than that, we again are as we are barefoot and encouraging our feet to come on the fitness journey with us today. So willpower and grace begins with our barefoot warm up. We then transition to cardio strength. Then we transition to flexible strength, core work, cool down. Flows nicely, we'll connect the breath to the movement. Couple levels of intensity, level one, two, and three. We'll target level one and level two today. So go ahead and find your way, settling your feet underneath your hips, shoulders back, chest open. And we begin with our barefoot warm up. So you're going to take your eyes and look down at your feet, making that mind body connection, thinking about all the muscles, ligaments, and tendons in those feet, and begin to activate them by lifting and lowering all 10 toes. Typically, we throw on our sneakers that highly support our feet. So half the time, the feet don't get the challenge they deserve. So today, no sneakers. We will activate and challenge our feet. The more we work barefoot, the better our balance gets. The stronger our ankles, ligaments, tendons, and muscles in the feet get to prevent injury. The next time you lift all 10 toes, keep them lifted and let there be space. You want 10 lines of energy. So if you're not seeing space, reach down and manually create that space. Encourage the toes to come apart from each other. Go ahead and begin to just tap the big toes up and down. The other four toes stay lifted, just the big toe taps. Tap. And keep that big toe up and just tap the pinky toe, that little toe that typically gets swept under, under the other toes while in sneakers. Let it be independent. Now we begin alternating big toe, pinky toe, big toe, pinky toe. Center three toes, stay lifted. And the next time we draw the big toe down, we leave it. We draw the pinky toe down, we connect and leave it. And then the three center toes stay lifted. The big toe challenge. Good, let it go. Begin to rock and roll. Rock to the outside of the foot, inside of the foot. I want to be mindful of our imprint on the earth as we work, noticing maybe patterns we've developed. Maybe we naturally rock to the inside or outside of the foot maybe forward and back, but today we're gonna to try to be balanced using the full footprint that we have underneath us. Five, four, three, two. Step the right foot forward, give it a little bit of weight and begin to roll over the ball of the foot. Breaking up adhesions, stagnation. And all the reflexology points that correspond to our major organs sit in this region. So we're stimulating the organs as well. Willpower and Grace does a lot of traditional fitness work as well as some non-traditional. I'll speak to that in a bit. And now begin to come, inviting movement from the hip in a circle, the knee to the ankle. Reverse, hip, knee, ankle, circle. Four, three, two, Step that foot back, left foot steps forward, give it a little bit of weight and begin to roll over the ball of that foot, roll. Waking up, those reflexology points, stimulating them. Begin to roll, coming from the hip to the knee to the ankle. First direction, hip, knee, ankle, circle. Good, step the foot back in, grip with all 10 toes, lift the heels, lower the heels, wiggle all 10 toes, so it's grip, elevate, lower, release, grip, elevate, lower, release. Grip, elevate, lower, release. 
Next time you grip, elevate, hold. Heels are up. Lengthen the arms. Begin to challenge yourself, looking to throw yourself off balance by moving the arms and then find your way back on balance. Begin to draw focus to your center, your core. Find stability there. Balance is a big piece of willpower and grace. So this is where we begin. Play with it. Challenge yourself. Four, three, two. Shake it out. Settle back in. Feet hip width apart. Build our foundation. Spread the toes. Let them be soft but grounded. Soften the knees but lengthen the legs. Belly's drawing in. Shoulders are down. Fingertips reach up. Cervical extension. Just the eyes. Look up and then reset forward. Awakening the cervical spine. Four, three, two. Next time the eyes look up, reach up a little bit higher. Think about something you're ready to part with. Stagnation, holding, self-doubt, negativity. Big, full sweep, exhale, let it go. Inhale, reach, extend, exhale. Big bend in the knees, ankles. Inhale, rise, exhale, release and sweep. Getting rid of anything you are ready to part with. Let it go, four. Inhale, exhale, three. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, let it go. And then rise up. Take the hands behind the head. Press the elbows back. Lateral flexion to the right. Right elbow moves towards the right hip. Envision yourself between two panes of glass. Stay in that lateral flexion zone. Four, three, non-traditional fitness challenge. We're gonna challenge our vestibular system. We're gonna hinge at the hips, sweep, flat back, rise. That's one. Two, moving the fluid in the inner ear to challenge us for balance. At the top, you might feel a little dizzy. That's part of the game. We'll pressure on the sides of the head. The more we train the system, the quicker it gets at responding, the dizziness goes away. Inhale, the ribs apart, gaze up. Exhale, press the palms away, gaze down. Inhale, ribs apart, gaze up. Exhale, press palms, gaze down. Inhale, exhale, deep belly, diaphragmatic breath throughout the entire workout today. Inhale, the ribs apart, gaze up. Exhale, collect the hands beneath the head. Lateral flexion to the left, elbow. Are you ready for that vestibular challenge? Four full sweeps in four, three, two. Next time the elbow goes down, we bend the knees, we sweep through and rise. There's one, two, three. You're a little dizzy again, part of the game, a little pressure on the sides of the head. And then melt in, standing cat cow. Inhale, the belly to spine, chin, chest round. Exhale, release the belly to the floor, shoulders back, eyes up. Exhale, round, curl, tuck. Exhale, release, inhale, round, curl, tuck. Exhale, release, two more. Spinal twist, drop one shoulder and gaze over the opposite shoulder. Smooth transition, left shoulder down, gaze right. Right shoulder down, gaze left. Left shoulder down, gaze right. Then beginning to pick it up. Right, left, right, left. Three, two. Bend the knees deeply and then bend and extend the legs a few times. Hang heavy, choose ragdoll arms, opposite hand to elbow stillness or a little pendulum swing. Release the crown of the head once again. Shake yes, shake no, getting rid of any self doubt. And then rise up. We're about to embark in our cardio strength. We'll take a water break after this round of work before we move into our flexible strength. So let's begin by once again grounding down feet, hip width apart. Our transition move in willpower and grace is a squat. We've done them a million times. We're going to reevaluate them right now. Feet hip width apart. 
light toes. You're gonna come down, bend the knees deeply, press off the legs as you rise. So we're activating the upper body. Press, lower, lift. Envision a chair. You're tapping the glutes on that chair. You're in charge of your depth of squat. Maybe it's a little bit more in the high range or you're fully getting those hips behind the kneecaps. Inhale down, exhale, press and rise. Five, rock step forward. Three, right leg leads. Two, rock step forward, right leg steps out, left heel lifts. Step, tap, step, tap. Begin to make that step a little bit farther, a little bit deeper. Working towards a single leg lunge. Step out, all four points of the foot connected. Toes spread wide, four, three, two. Stationary lunge, rise and fall. Shoulders over hips, knee tracks over toes. Five, four, three, two. It's now down in step tap level one or step out in step sweep level two. You're trying to land softly, lightly, without a sound. Rise. Five, holding at the top in four. Three, two, at the top of the next one, hold. We've arrived in Pelican. Tuck the toe in, low or high. Then we close our eyes and begin that balance challenge. Find yourself in space. Eyes closed, move the arms around, stabilize. Just because someone has turned off the lights on us, we're not gonna fall over, but if we do, we find our way back and continue the challenge. Open the eyes, big wide step to the right, in step tap, wide squat. Glutes sink back, knees track over toes. Four. Three, two, double squat. It's one out. Zip it up, one in, one out, one in. Level one, stay here. Level two, you can jump it in, jump it out, jump it in, jump it out. Five, four, three, two, zip up the legs, down and up. Knees, thighs together. Toes, heels together. Lift the heels, lift the arms as you rise. Lower the heels, lower the arms. Four. Three. Two. At the top, hold. Heel taps. Targeting the calf. Running, alternating those heel taps. Four, three, two, heel toe of the feet, squat. Go ahead and gaze outside of that right ankle. Look forward. Think about planting a seed of growth. Something you want to move towards and attain. Reach out and begin the manifestation. Draw it to heart center. Then low right, finish high left. Eyes can follow. Fingertips for that balance challenge. Then heels can run lower and left. Five, four, three, two, squat. We're already a quarter of the way through cardio strength. Great effort. Open hip position at the bottom. Open. Parallel, open, parallel, five, three, two, open plie. Extend the stance, open the hips, press the walls away. Knees once again, track over toes. Breathe, four. Three, two, here's a challenge. Come down, stay down and tap those heels. 
Transitioning to single leg work ahead. Right leg will be dominant. Four, three. Right leg takes the weight. Left toe taps out. Still in open turnout position. Moving towards a transition into a curtsy lunge. Super effective exercise to target outer thighs. Take that tap to the side, step behind. Tap, step. So the foot steps directly behind the front foot. The back foot heel stays lifted. Still in turnout. Four, three, two. Step that foot back, back heel up. Curtsy, we've arrived. Create that diamond as you lower, and zip it up at the top. Deep belly, awareness of breath. Five, four, three, two. Add in that tap, level one, with that curtsy lunge, or sweep, finding a moment of gracefulness in your day. Four, three, two, big step out. We've arrived in our first cooler lunge. Think big, powerful, cat, strong, confident. Lengthen one leg fully, and then the other. Transitioning weight right, back. Begin alternating toe taps. And keep the tap on just the right foot. Begin to arrive. Deep bend in right, left leg long and strong. As you arrive, shoulders back, chest open. Add an arm pull, elbow, shoulder alignment, gaze over that shoulder as you pull. Four, three, two, through lunge. Biggest movement of the series, the crescendo. Right leg is dominant, so both hands flow to the left. Level one, lunge, in step tap. Level two, lateral lunge, rise up and sweep. You wanna land softly without a sound. Get low, lift high. Five, four, three, Two, at the top of the next one, hold, find balance. Good. And open up the hip. Place the foot anywhere but on the inside of that knee. Tree pose. Collect yourself. And beginning to move chi, life force energy. Think about something, once again, you're ready to part with. Exhale it away. And inhale, something new. Draw it to heart center, let it manifest. Exhale out the old. Inhale in something new. Exhale out the stagnation, stress, tension. Inhale in. Peace, calm, focus. Four. Three. Two. Hands, heart center prayer. Little extra balance challenge. Revolve that leg forward. I'm going to turn sideways to find that space and then find our way to warrior three. It can be a high warrior, a more traditional. Warrior three to standing split. We're looking to draw that right leg towards the sky. Maybe one or both hands can come to standing leg ankle. Rise back up, all the way, back foot taps down, big pull, elbows to knee, three, two, one, pull, pull. This is our halfway point, cardio strength. We'll hold it in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Step tap. Halfway through cardio strength, back to the top of the repertoire. Take each movement as it comes, enjoy the challenges as they present, knowing at the back end we're in a flexible strength. Squat, go. Press off those legs, activate the arms. Inhale down, exhale, rise and press. 
Rock step coming with that left leg now in five, four, three, two, rock step forward. Stepping out, back heel lifts on that right side. You're gonna make the step a little farther, a little bit deeper. Four, three, two, last one. Step out, down and up you go. Shoulders over hips. Good. Six, five, four, three, two. In step tap, level one, or step sweep, level two. Landing softly, utilizing all four points of the foot. Inhale, exhale, rise. Hold at the top in five. Inhale, exhale, four. Three, two, last one, hold at the top. Tuck that toe in. Pelican, balance challenge. Close the eyes, play with the energy. You fall off, find your way back on. Trust yourself. Open the eyes, big step to the left. In step tap, wide squat, step. Wide squat, five, four, three, two, double squat, one out, one in. Level one, level two, layered in, jump up and out. Both great options. Four, three, two, zip it up, knees, thighs together, down and up, rise. Lift the heels, lift the arms. Four, three, two, arms up, heels up, tap. Alternate that tap. Five, four, three, two, heel toe the feet, squat. We're closing in on the amount of squats. Keep high quality movements. Try to gaze to the outside of the left ankle, plant a seed. Think about what you want to grow. Begin to manifest it, draw it to heart center. From heart center, pass it off to fruition. Heels can lower and lift, eyes can follow fingertips. Four, three, two, eyes forward, squat. Excellent, three quarters of the way through, cardio strength. Open plie at the top, parallel the legs at the bottom. Awakening those hips, four, three, two, open plie, expand. Press the walls, squat, knee track over toes. Four, three, two, down, hold. Stay here, lay in the taps. Four, three, Two, left leg dominant, right toe taps. Moving towards that curtsy lunge. Tap, tap. And then to step back, tap to the side as we work towards that curtsy. Both legs still in turn out. Back foot, heel up. Back foot steps directly behind front foot. Three, two, Step the foot back, stay there. Full curtsy, create the diamond, zip it up. Inhale, exhale, four, three, 
two. Add in the tap, level one, or sweep, level two. Six, five, four, three, two, big step to the wall we arrived. Second round, cougar lunge. Confident, powerful. Alternate toe taps. And keep the tap just on that left foot, begin to arrive. Tap, arrive with confident shoulders, back chest open. I am here, I am present. I command my space. Add that rotation. Elbow shoulder alignment. Five, four, three, two. Big powerful movement. Moving to the crescendo. Both hands move right, dominant leg is now left. In step tap, level one. Get low, lift high, level two. Got that imprint on the earth, light touch down. Strong pull as we rise up. Six, five, four, three, two. At the top of the next one, hold. True pose, open through that hip and place foot anywhere but on the inside of that knee. Let yourself arrive. Nice force energy, chi, exhale out. Inhale in, let it manifest. Exhale, in. Four. Three. Two. A little extra balance challenge, warrior three. Find your way there. Warrior three to standing split. Where both hands can take you to that ankle. Find your way back to that warrior three. Down with the back foot, three, two, one, pull, knee, elbows. Power pulls, power pulls. Holding on the 10th in 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold. Excellent. Cardio strength, check done. Flexible strength about to begin. Take a little sip of water. Roll out your mat. Cougar lunge, we've done couple rounds now. You can stay in that high cougar. We begin to come onto the earth a bit more. Moving weight to the right and left. Next time you move into that right hip fold. Walk the hands to the inside of that right foot. Then lift the right heel, pivot the left toes to the sky. Choose Stay grounded, move towards partial or full balance challenge. Set your gaze on one fixed point. Envisioning a third arm reaching out to stabilize you. Arms to the earth, float to right, left a few times. Move into that left hip, hold. Walk the hands. Lift the left heel, pivot the right toes to the sky. Stay grounded. Partial balance or a full challenge. Hands float back to the earth. Move the energy left to right a few more times. And then send both legs behind you. Pivot the hands to face the side wall. High plank. You need to lower the knees, modify at any point. If not, we're all the way up, shoulders, hips, hips through heels. Three, 
belly drawing in. 10. Five. Side plank, left hand down. He can stagger, modify, or stack for the ultimate challenge. We've got lifting that hip up and away from the floor below. Ten. Five tricep push push ups coming between our side planks. Three. Two come back center. Knees up. Four down, we go five, elbows track in four, three, two, reset, plank, and then side plank. Same foot position, same level of energy. And five more tricep push ups coming in five. Up or down, elbows track in. Finish the fifth, hold plank. Step the right foot forward, open through the left hip and drag it in. Triangle legs is where we're headed. You're going to rise and fall, stepping the back leg back every time you rise. Create more space. Right toes face the side wall. Right toes are turned in slightly. Hold. Triangle base. Take the right hand to the back of that right leg. Open and close the trap door on the inside of that foot. Elbow leads. And then eyes, elbow. At the top, elbow high. Eyes lift, extend, triangle to rise. Breathe. Inhale here, exhale, reverse triangle. Take left hand to the back of the right leg. Square the shoulders. Lift and lower with that right hand. Opening that trap door. Hold that elbow high. Stay here, revolve a little bit deeper for reverse triangle. Exhale, release the head, the arms, and slowly rise up. Close your stance from front to back. Both feet face the side wall, pyramid legs beneath you. Drop the shoulders. Let the arms begin to circle forward, windmill. Windmill the arms back. Catch the hands behind the low back. Drop the shoulders, open the chest, gaze up. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Arms can stay active, release the low back, or meet the mat to pyramid. Breathe into that hamstring and calf. Look at the toes, let them be soft, lift them over them a few times. And reactivate the arms overhead or take the hands to the hips, lift the eyes, heart follows. Pyramid good mornings, inhale, hinge, exhale, rise. Shift the glutes straight back. Fire that core. Stay with the hands on the hips for more activation. Inhale, reach, exhale, rise and pull. Inhale, exhale. Four, three, two. And with those arms overhead, embrace the hands. Widen the stance. Hinge at the hips. Charlie Angel taps. Eyes follow fingertips, utilizing the hamstrings, glutes, and core to stabilize this position. Five, four, three, two. Hands to the earth, right thumb to the sky five times. Hands walk out to a heart to heart plank. Create a plank through the hands and then send your true heart over that heart. Stay here and join me for some shoulder taps. Five, 
three, two, hands walk back. Can we begin once again that cougar lunge? Moving energy right and left. Next time you hinge towards that left leg, hold. Spin the feet, step back to that high plank, hold. Check in, lower the knees at any point if you need to. Hold it, 10. Five. Right hand down, left arm up, side plank. Staggered, split, or modified. Lift that hip, activate. 10. Five. Five tricep push-ups. Again, knees up or down, elbows track in. Rise up, back of the room, side plank. Step up. Ten. Final five tricep push ups in five. Come back, final five. Go. Step that left foot in, open through the right hip, drag the foot in. Triangle leg, begin to rise and fall, stepping the foot farther back every time. Four, three, two, hold up, triangle legs. Open that trap door on the inside of that front foot. Elbow leads. And then eyes follow elbow. Five, four, three, two, hold. Evolve to full triangle. Open through the heart, the lungs, the ribs, towards the sky. Five, four, three, two. Take that arm in the air to the back of that front leg. Open and close the trap door with the opposite hand. Elbow leads. Five, four, three, two. Elbow high. Stay here, revolve a little bit deeper into the back of the room, reverse triangle. And release the arms, release the head. Slowly rise up. Close your stance. Feet are hip width apart. Both toes face the sidewall, both arms circle forward. Both arms circle back. Catch the hands behind the low back, drop the shoulders, open the chest, lift the gaze. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Arms overhead to the low back or meet the mat, head heavy. Let it go. Activate the arms overhead and draw the hands to the hips, lift the eyes, heart follows. Pyramid, good mornings. Hinge, rise. Stay here, reach, pull, reach, pull. Four, three, two, and with those arms overhead, embrace the hands, come back center. Open that stance, fire the core, tap. Four, there's two, hands to the earth, left thumb to the sky, four, three, two, 
hands like feet walk out, creating that heart to heart plank. <coughs> Draw your true heart over that heart you've created. Stay here, layer and shoulder taps. Five, four, three, two, hands walk back, taking that slow career lunge right to left. We are at the end of the flexible strength. Let's target the core. Slowly roll back. Draw the legs in, right knee in, left leg long, bicycle, look over right shoulder, inhale here, exhale left, right, left, right. Five, four, three, two. Head heavy, knees in. Right leg long, left leg long, hands to the back of that right hamstring, scissors, inhale here, exhale left, right. Left, right, five, four, three, two, knees in, head, neck, and shoulders, lift, inhale, arms, legs, long, head is down, inhale, head lifts, double knee stretch, inhale, exhale, five, Four, three, two, knees in, head heavy. Gentle rock, right, left. Reset the feet, hip width apart. Heels close to glutes, palms pressed down, hips left up, bridge pose, hold. Smooth out the breath. Stay here or hover those heels. Ten. Five. Release the heels, slow articulation down, float the knees in. Heels down, toes up, shoulder rolls, right shoulder blade lifts, left shoulder blade lifts. Roll right, left. Right, left, five, four, three, two, knees in, roll over onto your belly, lengthen the arms, lengthen the legs, and rise to a hover, and layer in swimming, little flutter kicks with the arms and legs. 10, five, stack the hands, gently rock those hips right to left. One more exercise before we take it down and stretch. Toes, heels together, arms long, palms up, inhale, rise and lift, locusts. Feel that energy radiate from shoulders to fingertips, shoulders, hips to toe tips, 10. So close, five. Become heavy on the mat, bend the knees, windshield wipe with those legs. We've arrived from here on out, we'll stretch. Let the legs grow heavy, take the right forearm under the forehead, take the left heel to the glute. Stretching that quadricep. Release the left, take the left hand under the forehead and the right hand to the heel. Release the right, float to child. 
breathe into that back body. Walk both hands to the right side of the mat, left glutes towards left heel. Hands to the left, glutes to the right. Arms overhead, rise to table, two cat cows, inhale, belly fall, shoulders open, eyes up, exhale, round, curl and tuck, one more, inhale, exhale, curl toes, press hips, down dog, lift one heel high, keep the other heel low, switch. Walk the feet to the hands, feet hip width apart, knees soft, shake your head yes and no. Choose rag, go arms up to hand to elbow stillness or create that gentle pendulum swing. Head heavy, arms heavy. Will we rise up one vertebrae at a time? Inhale to reach the arms overhead. Wiggle the shoulders out and hips, move to the right. Inhale, rise, exhale, move up. Inhale, rise, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Float the arms down, invite that right knee high. Open through the right hip, standing reverse pigeon. Sink those hips back. Eyes up and switch. And standing torso twist, let the arms strike the body, dissipating any more negativity, stagnation. Let it go. Find your way to center, take a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to heart center prayer. Take a moment to give thanks to your body, for completing the work. Think about something or someone else you also wanna send that energy out to by creating a dedication or a purpose for the practice you just completed. Seal in that intention, drawing chin to chest, head heavy. And then think about walking through the rest of your day with that confidence, awareness of the feet upon the earth, the shoulders, back, the chest open, lead with the heart, be well. Look forward to working with you again. Yeah.